What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be looking at how the suppressor affects all of the assault rifles in Infinite Warfare. I'm going to show you guys a very detailed range comparison chart based on all of the hand testing that I've done, as well as the effects that suppressor will have on every one of these assault rifles. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so this took me many, many hours to hand test. I very rigorously hand tested every single one of these assault rifles with suppressor as well as long barrel, but we'll get into long barrel in a different video. And they are perfectly accurate and you guys can see exactly what those ranges look like on an actual map. And the map we're using here is Retaliation. Keep in mind, these values will eventually change throughout the years or they likely will change. And when they do, I will be sure to keep you guys updated on any of those changes that are made. Also keep in mind that these are all with the base guns. I'm not using any variants whatsoever in this. I might do like variant breakdowns and reviews and stuff like that. But as it is right now, we're just looking at the base version of the guns. So first up, let's look at the NV4. The NV4 has a great base four shot kill range. And then when you put a suppressor on it, it reduces that four shot kill range by about 25%. I'd be willing to bet that the hard coded number is actually 25%. So right off the bat here, I can say that the NV4 is actually great with suppressor, which a lot of you guys have probably already noticed. Tons of people are using a suppressor on the NV4 because it still maintains a pretty decent four shot kill range with suppressor. Moving on to the R3K, this one was actually a little bit surprising. It's got a pretty decent one burst kill range, contrary to what a lot of people seem to think. But as soon as you put a suppressor on there, it cuts that pretty much in half. So my recommendation, at least in core game modes, is to never run a suppressor on the R3K. It completely destroys your one burst kill potential, and as soon as you're outside of your one burst kill potential, then you're outclassed by everything when it comes to time to kill. Next up we've got the K-Bar, and the K-Bar actually has a 4 shot kill range, a 5 shot kill range, and then a 6 shot kill range. And you'll notice its 5 shot kill range is right around where the NV4's 4 shot kill range is, and then its 4 shot kill range isn't really that great. When you slap a suppressor on there, it reduces that once again by about 25% for both of those ranges. Moving on to the Type 2, and keep in mind I only tested in Assault Rifle mode here. I wasn't using it in the Akimbo mode at all. That's very difficult to test by hand, especially at these sorts of ranges. But it's very interesting. It has a very, very large 5-shot kill range, and it will never kill in 4 shots unless you're including headshots. So its 5 shot kill range is massive, and if you put a suppressor on there, once again it reduces that range by about 25%. And overall, I don't really feel like you're going to be getting into many gunfights beyond that suppressor 5 shot kill range, and therefore I think suppressor is a decent choice on the Type 2. So finally we have the Volk, and the Volk has an amazing 3 shot kill range. I was surprised at just how big this 3 shot kill range was. And once again, no surprise, it looks like we have about a 25% reduction to its range. So it's still got a pretty good 3 shot kill range with a suppressor. Now just in case you guys are wondering about this chart and how it might look a little bit weird, like there's a green line and it doesn't line up perfectly with the map, I had to take that screenshot from spectator mode and you can't aim straight down in spectator mode in this game. So everything was shot from the point of origin at the top, where the yellow dot is, that's where my target was, and everything was shot from there, and then I just slid everything straight down along that line so that they can be compared perfectly. So once you get down to like the Type 2 and the Volk within this chart here, it doesn't actually line up with the map itself. Everything was shot from that point of origin, which is where that yellow dot is. So overall, for the assault rifles, it looks like we get a reduction in our range by 25%. That's at least the base reduction. The R3K seems to be the one exception to that, where it looks like we get about a 50% reduction to your range. And this is actually much, much better than we saw in Black Ops 3. In Black Ops 3, for all of the assault rifles aside from the Can 44, we got like a 65% reduction to our range with Suppressor. That's definitely not the case in Infinite Warfare. Don't be afraid to pop that suppressor on any of the assault rifles aside from the R3K. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Like I said, I have a long barrel guide in the works for assault rifles and that should be coming within the next week or so. I'd like to know in the comment section below, which one of the assault rifles is your favorite to run with a suppressor? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.